the group companies are termed as company in the SAP system. A company can consist of one or more company codes. That means a company can consist of one legal entity or it can have more than one legal entities. So if you have got number of different legal entities or organizations, they are together termed as company in the SAP system. All company codes within a company must use the same chart of account and the same fiscal year. So that's we'll talk about once we will be at the chart of account part. Now moving on to the next is company code. So the company code is again the smallest organizational unit of financial accounting for which a complete self-contained set of accounts can be drawn up for purpose of external reporting. So whenever you go for any external reporting part, this company code becomes entity. This includes recording of all relevant transactions and generating all supporting documents required for financial statements. So company code basically refers to a legal entity or you can say uh, an, an organization. So if you got if you have got number of different legal entities, they all together is termed as a company in SAP and one single entity is termed as a company code. So how we can create this company and company code in the SAP system, that is what we will be looking for. So now let's move on to the SAP system and we'll see how we can create these. So now moving on to the SAP system, one thing which need to be discussed is whenever we go for configuration steps, how you will be configuring it. There are two way outs of going for any of the configuration steps. One is with the help of menu path, which gives you a path one to one, how we can reach to that particular configuration step. And the another part is transaction code. Transaction code is a four character code. By execution of that, you can directly reach out to the screen to which you want to do the configuration. But for each different configuration part, there are different code for that. So that is why remembering the transaction code is very tough. That's why we refer it that we should always use the menu path so as that will give you a better idea and you will be able to remember it for a longer period of time. So to moving on to the path, there's first an important transaction which need to be executed and that particular transaction is termed as SPRO. This SPRO transaction is very important for a consultant. Without this, without access of this to you, you will not be able to do any configuration steps in the SAP system. So you need to first execute this transaction over here in this transaction field, SPRO and then enter. So once you enter, it takes you to the next screen and you can see now the screen has changed to customizing execute project. This particular screen is a very important screen. In this screen, you will find three options over here. One is SAP reference IMG and the another is IMG information and then the project analysis. Now what is important for you is the first option that is SAP reference IMG. In this the IMG refers to the implementation guide. So this is the tab which takes you to the implementation guide where we do all the configurations related to the implementation part or related to any of the configuration part. So once you click on to this SAP reference IMG, now it will take you to the next screen where you will find all the different module options. So this is the screen now which displays you the IMG that is implementation guide and this is the guide where every consultant does their configurations as this particular screen covers all your different modules as you can see for financial accounting there is FI module is there 
then if you go for controlling is there there are different other modules like sales and distribution material management quality management then project system production planning so all different modules you will find over here only now what we need to do is we need to structure our, we need to create our own enterprise structure so for enterprise structure you will find even that you will there is an option of enterprise structure on this particular screen so what we need to do is we need to expand this part to expand you need to go to this arrow over here and you need to click onto that and it will expand so once you have clicked onto this it has been it has expanded now if you again click onto this it will collapse so you need to go to this enterprise structure and you need to expand it and then you need to go to definition so once you again click onto this definition it will get expanded and within definition you will find there are different options so what we need to do is we need to go to financial accounting as we are doing SAP FI module so we need to expand the financial accounting and as you expand now you'll find a number of different options so here you can find define company so if you want to create your own company that is your own group company then you need to go to this define company so the path is simple first you need to go to execute the SAP SPRO transaction code and then you need to go to SAP reference IMG and have to click on that and it will take you to this particular screen and once you reach on to this screen you need to then click on to the enterprise structure then to financial to definition and then to financial accounting and then to define the company now if you want to define the company you need to execute this option over here as you can see this symbol you need to click onto it and it will take you to define company so now click as clicked onto it you can see now a new screen has been generated on the system and now you can go and you can create your own group company over here so suppose I want to create a group company I can go to this new entries and once I click on to this new entries now there are certain options coming on your screen so this company over here is over here you need to define a, a maximum of six character code that can be taken up so if you want I can take it as one zero 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 as a code or even if you want you can have a smaller one as well so suppose I take a code as two zero 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 as a group code and over here you can define the company name that is the group company name suppose I take the group company name as ABC group as a simple part and then you need to move on to the next and you need to fill your street box and all those things suppose I take this street as one two three the box number over here then the postal number you can take whatever you wish to and then you can take the city as suppose I take it as Texas and then you can select your country there are options you can go to this select options and it will give you all the country list so you can find the list of the companies as on the screen they had around 256 entries that means they are around 256 countries as on this and you can select your own country over here suppose I take it as United States so that is US you have taken it and if you want to now select the language and you don't know what language has to be taken then you can go to this option over here or the F4 key on your keyboard and once you click on to that it will give you the list of different languages available in SAP so if you'll find there is again 41 entries found that means there are 41 different languages in SAP can be used in so we need to go to this English language and now we can select this language as English and then you can go to currency now to decide the currency you need to again go for F4 option on the keyboard so that you can get the list of currencies so there are around 240 14 entries that means there are 214 currencies within the SAP system on which the transaction can be done so for the 
currency over here we need dollar so you can find USD that is United States dollar which can be taken up so double click on it and it will be selected so this is other parameters which you need to fill up over here and once you have filled these now you can go to save the option over here on the screen so once you save your company will be defined so as I clicked onto the save option and the system asked me for a request so whenever you do any of the configuration or customizes in the steps it the system will always ask you for a request so what you need to do is you need to go to this new that is create request and you can create a request of your own like I am putting up a request like creating or I can simply say customizing SAP FICO simple and I can save it now so what will happen now is whatever customization which we will be doing will be saved in this request and on the basis of this request only these customizations move to the next client from one client to the another client and to the live system so now we can click onto this right button or enter on the screen and it will be taken up in the request so you can see now the message generated data was saved that means the company has been defined and now we can go back with this back option over here on this green back or the F3 key can be used to go back so once you go back you can find the option over here that your company or your group company 2000 has been defined and the name of the company has also been reflected to you over here so this is how we have created or we have defined a company now moving to the next is the company code now we have created a group company now company over in SAP refers to a group company now moving on to the next we'll be defining a company code a company code is the legal entity or the smallest organizational unit in the financial accounting and on the basis of this company code only all the different financial accounting transactions are done so for financial accounting part company code is the most important because without a legal entity you cannot maintain any financials or any any financial statement or accounting in SP or any other software for that matter so we'll now create a company code or a legal entity in SAP system so let's move on to again to the SAP screen and in the same part you will find in the same path over here there is an option of edit copy delete check company code so this is for creating the company code so what we need to do is we need to execute this company code over here so once you execute the company code you will find a pop-up screen which gives you two options one is copy delete check company code and the another is edit company code data so now what we need to do is we need to go to the second option that is edit company code data so once I double click on to the edit company code data it takes you to the next screen and you can see now change view company code overview now in this to create your own company code or your own legal entity in SAP you need to go to the new entries so once you click on to the new entry it will take you to the next screen that is as you can see on your system so now over here you can define your company code or your legal entity so suppose my legal entity is again it can be a four character maximum of four character code so it can be alpha it could be numeric as well so it is preferred to have a numeric code so I will be having 2100 and I can name it over here the company name as So suppose I take the name of the company or the legal entity as ABC Consulting LLC and I take the city now over here as Texas and then you can take the country as US and your currency as USD 
and your language is EN that is English. Now these are the options which you have taken and now we can go and we can save this option. So as you will go for save the system will ask you further more details related to your entity. So as I saved now, now you will find that a new screen or the new pop-up has been generated. Now in this you need to fill, uh, you need to fill the further details related to the entity as a legal entity has their respective addresses, telephone numbers, a particular name and all those details which need to be filled over here. So you can select the title. Their titles could be any of these like I select as company. So I need to put the name again ABC Consulting. LLC and now if you want a short term you can give a short text to it like ABC if you want you can put the country that is US and then within US you can select the reason to which reason that particular company belongs to there are many different country names over here on your screen Alaska American Samoa California Florida and all Hawaii then Indiana Illinois a lot of different names so whichever reason you feel you can take that over here suppose I take it as NY that is New York so that is what has been taken now moving on you can fill your options like address over here as well whatever you need to fill it as So you can take all those things like I have taken even if you want to change your city then you can change your reason also over here as per the city now so you can search for Texas so that is over here TX that is Texas reason has been taken up and now if you want you can fill these further details on the below part However, these are optional. You can fill or you can leave them blank also. But it is better if you have the details, it should be filled so that these data can be picked up in any of the reports and other details. But if you leave them blank, you will not be able to generate these things in anywhere, any reports or any printout or anything as such. So it's up to you. If you want to put the communication detail over here, you can put the communication details as well else we can move on and we can click on to this the green right tick mark or we can enter on the screen and this data will be taken up so entered so you can see now the data has been taken up in the request now so the same request will be taken up now and in the same request we'll be saving again and again the same customization however we can create multiple requests for the same as well but we don't need it at this point of time so we'll be taking it in the same request number the customization of company code also and now we can click on to this continue and your configurations are saved with the request so you can see the message has been generated data was saved so now we have created the company code also that is the step which has been done so now moving to the configuration steps the first step we have completed we have completed the second one as well and now we need to move on to the third configuration step that is to assign the company to the company code so if you don't assign one company to the another company to the company code you will not be able to correlate or you cannot you will not be able to put a relation to each other so that is why we need to assign these to each other so that the relation can be set or the link can be set between one another so for the assignment now we need to go back to the path we can close we can now close this this uh, pop up screen over here and then we have moved now over here onto the screen so you can see now there are certain options like define or definition and then assignment 
So for creating any any configuration step in the enterprise structure, we need to go to definition and for assigning one to another, we need to go to the assignment. So let's go to the assignment, expand and then expand the financial accounting part also. And once we have expanded the financial accounting, you can find the first option that is assign company code to company. Now we can go and we can click on to this symbol or execute and now once we have it will take you to the next screen so over here you can find your company code on the first column this is COCD which refers to company code and you can find your company code is over here 2100 and your city is Texas and now we can define the company so the company means the group company so you can assign the group company over here so now we can go if you don't remember your group company what was the code what was the four digit or six digit character code you had then you can go to this option over here click on it and it will give you the list of different companies within the SAP system so you can see now the one which we have created was 2000 that is ABC groups and we can enter on it so once entered this particular company has been selected over here so you can see now the company code 2100 has been assigned with the company 2000 and now we can save this screen so once you save the relationship is set and the assignment is done as you can see assign company code to company so now the company code has been assigned to the company as you can see the message data was saved that means the relationship now has been saved so this is how we have defined the assigning the company to the company code and now moving on to the next is defining the business area so now before moving on to defining the business area it is important to understand what is business area all about so business area is an organizational unit of financial accounting that represents a separate area of operations or responsibilities within an organization and to which value changes recorded in financial accounting can be allocated. Even with the help of business area you can create financial statements and you can use these statements for various internal reporting purposes. So in simple terms a business area is used to divide your business or your organization business into different operations or responsibilities or it can be can be regions or can be branches also or even a more practical example can be taken that like in a manufacturing concern they have got different number of plants for manufacturing purposes so every plant can be given a business area so what happened with that is that when every plant has got a business area so whatever the transactions which take place in the SAP system for any of the plant they need to they need to put that particular business area while posting those transactions so that those business area become mandatory for those plants whenever they do the transactions to put the business area so when you put those business area as a mandatory part the every transactions get recorded with the that business area so with that business area we are the organization is able to find the financial statement for a particular plant also so it gives you an advantage that till before SAP the organization was been able to have the financial statement as a for a legal entity but now the enterprise or the the organization can have financial statement as per the plant also on the basis of the business area so they can they can simply have a look of the financials and they can decide the income statement the liabilities and the assets of a respective plant and they can analyze accordingly as per the, the different plant to plant uh, financial status or financial statement uh, health Similarly, you can divide your business area. That is one of the scenario that you can use the business area as, a, as per plant to plant. And practically, this has been 
has been used in many of the clients which has been done so otherwise you can even use business area for different reasons also so every reason can be given a business area so for that particular reasons for that particular transactions that business area has to be assigned or has to be put in so that the transaction can be posted with a business area basis and it will be able to generate reports for reason to reason wise also so how we can do in the SAP part let's see how we can create the business area so moving on to the SAP system to create we need to again go to the definition part so we need to go back to this definition then expand moving to the financial accounting then again expanding it and in this you can find define business area so once you want to go and define the business area you need to click on to this symbol and now you can see the screen has been generated so over here you have got the option now that you can go to new entries and it is up to you whether you want to go for the business area as per plant wise or as per the reason wise or as per the branch number wise or as per the different operations so it varies from client to client or from organization to organization as per the requirement so suppose I create a business area of 2000 and then 2010 similarly you can create 2020 2030 and you can name them as different reason or different plant like I gave it as plant 1 the next can be given up as plant 2 similarly you can give it as plant 3 the third one and you have any plant specific name then you can even assign the plant name over here as well so these are the different plant name has been assigned I have given these are the name wise you can put a different plant to plant description accordingly and once you have created these you can go and you can save this screen so once you save your business area has been defined so this is how you need to create your enterprise structure that we have been talking about a while back so this is what we have been talking about that you need to create a group company that is a company in SAP then you need to go for creating a business uh, a company code and within the company code you need to create business area so within a company code you can have n number of business area depending upon your requirement how you want to have those reports or the reporting has to be done so the most important part is business areas used is that at the end of the day at the end of the month you can have reports you can have the financial statements and even the income statements on the basis of the business area and which can give you uh, a reason to reason or plan to plan wise details detailed financials and the management can take internal decisions on the basis of that so moving up to the next step of the enterprise structure is credit control area the credit control area is an organizational entity which grants and monitors a credit limit for customers a credit control area can include one or more company codes so the credit control area is used as a credit management for the accounts receivable and sales and distribution part in the SAP system so as to restrict the credit limit to the customers and it can be reviewed the credit limit can be monitored for the customers and it can be changed later on as per the as per the creditability of the customer accordingly so you need to maintain the credit control area with respect to the customers for the company code so using the credit control you can minimize your credit risk by defining a credit limit for the customer and in that case the chances of getting bad debts or chances of getting the outstanding receivables or bad debts can be minimized 
So you can define or you can assign the same credit control area to more than one company code as well, even and the same credit control area can be used for multiple company codes but one particular company code can and cannot have multiple credit control area so to a company code only one credit control area can be assigned so let's see how we can create a credit control area into the SAP system and as per the configuration steps as you can see we need to define the credit control area and then we need to assign the credit control area to the company code as well so that the relationship can be set and the credit control area can be uh, becomes applicable to the company code the credit control area is here we can execute now we can define our own with the help of new entries so in this we have to fill a four digit alpha four uh, character alphanumeric code now suppose I put up again is 1200 why because I always want my company code to be taken up the same code with the others so as not to get confused with too many codes currency USD you don't need to fill the this particular part because this is for sales and distribution module now coming up next risk categories again you don't have to take it this has been defined with the help of credit management which is a different module what you have to do over here is just to define the credit limit for the customers so the limit which you define over here suppose I put it over here as 1 million that can be taken up over here as a tolerance for the customers has been defined now I can save this so the tolerance for the customers have been defined as 1 million if you want to increase it you can increase it over here if you want to reduce you can reduce it as well now after it we can save it over here the data was saved means your tolerance your credit control area has been defined now you need to assign the credit control area to the company code so moving up we have not uh, the description need to be filled for the credit control area so we always have to put it over here suppose my company code is 1200 so I put it as 1200 and now we'll be saving it again going back now I need to assign it to the company code so I have to go to the assignment so collapsing the definition and then going to the assignment spending spending the financial accounting and then assigning company code to the credit control area so execute and in this you can search your company code with the position your company code is 1200 enter now over here you can define your credit control area which you just created if you don't remember you can uh, press the F4 button on your keyboard and the list of all the credit control area will be reflected in which you can search your own and you can double click on that and it will be selected over here now once this has been done you can save it and your linkage between the credit control area and the company code is defined so as of now we have completed with the enterprise structure setting this is your organizational stru structure and that is what we have defined in SAP just now as we have seen so we can go back now as you can see the plant 1 2 3 4 has been created so this is how you need to create your enterprise structure similarly and this is what all about which we have covered in the first training of the SAP FICO part so we'll see you with each of these topics covered from the next training sessions so till then take care thank you